Ah, hey, hi everybody. I'm Mary Frost, your host for the Mr. Phil Show. And I'd like to welcome everybody to spring, even though it doesn't really feel like spring. Believe me, folks, I've seen the crocuses really trying to come up and come out. I've actually seen a few buds on the, on the trees. As cold as it's been, and it's cold as it's gonna be, on and off, you know, I mean, we really will get through it. And you know what? You can always join us here on the Mr. Phil Show for that warm, cozy, comfy feeling. And part of that reason is because my friend and yours, Mr. Phil, is our host. Hey, Phil. How are you tonight? Here's your microphone. We have a pretty busy show tonight. Yes, we do. We've we got uh, a few things, actually. Um, I need you to start telling people about our telethon. Yes, that'll be Saturday, April 8th from two o'clock in the afternoon to seven o'clock at night. We are doing our spring telethon and it's very important that you support us, okay? And the reason being? Because we need to get money to buy new equipment update what we have. Right, yeah, we're all public access, which means public funds as well. Um, we don't get any help from anybody. Everybody here does everything they do on a voluntary basis. Everything that we've got that you're seeing us use it has all been donated or bought by with donated money. Right. Right? And uh, it's kept us going for quite a while. Right, except for... Uh these three microphones, which belong they to... They belong to you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, you know, Phil likes to use his own mics. We, we like the way they sound, so... Yes, I like my you know. mics the best, and, uh, you know, I just... That's the way I approve of doing things. But aside from that, we need uh, money for new cameras, mics, anything else, because mm -hmm. we're trying to really upgrade, and especially the fact that... After we do our broadcasts here on this show and Keeping Country Strong and, and a few of the others, it goes on to other networks. Yeah, I don't know. The, uh, well, the telethon won't go to our viewers down in Manhattan and, and no, Brooklyn, right? We're getting feedback from, from... Can we turn this... All right, um, feedback. From uh, this thing is facing us, so... Okay, so um, what we're going what I was saying is um, our, our viewers in Manhattan and Brooklyn and even parts of uh, Pennsylvania that are new to us, the people in Pennsylvania are much very new to us and we still we will, we're welcoming you. Um, you will have to see it. you can check it out on YouTube because when we do our telethon we do it live. And it's going to be live in the Port Jervis and Hudson Valley area only. Right. Um, that doesn't mean you can't make donations. Right, because you're getting the same show as everybody else. Okay, so we're going to be giving you the uh, post address, the post office box address to send a donation to. And if you could send that, and that would be great because you're getting the same great shows. And... It's working out so well in these other channels besides our great Access 23. That's right. Access 23 has been great. It's been such a great family for me. I've been here a little over a year, maybe almost a year and a half. This will be my second telethon. And, um, Your third. My, thir my third. You're right. Right. Because, right. Uh, I did the, the one in the fall and then in the spring, and this right. is my next spring one. Right. Or something like that. Yeah. But it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. So, um, you know, I hope that anybody that's watching us local, please tune in. It's a Saturday. It's uh, April 8th. Again, it's a telethon for our station so that we can raise money. Uh, not just money, but also items. If you have something at your house that you're no longer in need of and you want to donate it to us and let us be able to sell it right. and, and, you know, and be able to have money that way, that's just as good. We'll make arrangements, we'll do something. Um, and if you're talented and you want to come down and you want to join Access 23, that's always, always open right. to anybody. 
And we'd also like to have a nice live studio audience. So anybody that's in the area, if you want to come down, just you know, feel free to come in. We'll have some chairs set up so we can have a live audience. Right, and go we'll put you on TV if you want to give you a donation then. That's right. Okay. And for those of you in outlying areas, and I'll give it to you in Port Jervis too, um, s make out your checks to Access 23 TV and send it to P.O. Box 321, Port Jervis, New York, 12771. All right, yes, and we'll take those donations at any time during the year, any time you feel so moved to, you know, you've got a couple bucks, hey, let me throw these guys, a, you know, a little bit of something. I, I like their show. We really, really would appreciate it. Right. Be very and, nice. Um, it's going to be, you know, a great show. And you're probably asking why we do two of them, okay? And... It's because years ago, we used to do one very big one in October. Mm -hmm. We used to uh, go on a Sunday afternoon, and we used to do like about an eight to nine hour telethon. That's a very long time. And uh, Doc would have to take us through the year. But we feel that it's gotten more critical now where we have to do two a year. Yes. And we could get everything done in five hours. Okay. Well, we can, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, we've, been, we've done pretty good with the five-hour shows, and splitting it up into two shows, I, I think, gives people a chance, you know, twice a year. Yeah, right. See, it was a different kind of telethon in my day and age. First of all, uh, at one time, we were called Axis 8. We were on Channel 8. No way before my when time. When I first came here. <laughs> and we had viewership in Montague, New Jersey, as well as Matamoras, where we're back in now. Mm -hmm. We had the extension. And then um, another cable station took it over and knocked us out of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Is that what happened? Okay. I was yeah. wondering why so it was. Okay. We had three states at one time. Right. And uh, right. we used to make quite a bit of money then. That's great. Well, now we're fortunate enough to have at least two states. Right. Which is great because we just picked up parts of Pennsylvania. Yes. So I'm hoping that they're going to see this and, and appreciate it. And right. maybe they'll even say, hey, wait, I, I know that guy. I saw him years ago. He had a TV show on our channel. And, well, it's a different show than what you're used to. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole different thing now. Back in the day. Before me, um, and before a couple of his other co-hosts, Phil had uh, like a karaoke show going on. Right. And now, today, it's come a whole another direction, and our purpose is to get budding singers, songwriters, um, anybody that's got some kind of a special talent in here so that we can help them go as far as they can. We want to give them a shot. We want to give them their first their first crack at doing something on TV. Which we did in a lot of cases. Yes. We have a lot of people, um, which we'll talk about uh, at the telethon. Right. Um, that have gone pretty far. Yes. So we, we don't want to get into that tonight. No, but a lot but of people have gone. And this was bef way before uh, Mary. Uh, yes. In fact, um, this one girl started with us like 10 years ago when we were just the karaoke show. Right. And she's touring the country now. Yeah, she's made the transition. She's doing her own music. It's great. Yeah, she's been on 42nd Street uh, with her name in the neon lights yeah. through because of us. There's another one who started the week before her who's uh, in London. Oh, she's in London now. There's another, another one, a another girl, girl. A sec okay. another girl who started with the week before. W two weeks in a row, we picked up girls that started with us. Then Very we good. picked up somebody uh, a few weeks later. Mm -hmm. And this one is doing cabaret shows out of New York City and That's stuff. Terrific. And she also has her own vocal school. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you know, so we, and this is when we were just a small a station. Small station. Imagine, imagine what, what we can do now for people. And, and that's another thing, too. Uh, Phil and I, we, we try to go to open mic nights. Um, we perform as well, but we like to get um, new talent from the open mic nights. You know, if you come in and you've got originals, um, we can't do cover songs, unfortunately, but if you've got originals or if you want to send us a video, that would be great. Right. This way we can get some, some new blood into the studio here and we get some new guests and we're going to, because we need guests all year long. Right, we do. And if you're out there and you really, really want to do something, start here. Right. We'll, we'll get you on the right path. See, I was talking to uh, our president and my manager, Carl Richards, and we came up with an agreement like this. He's going to take the bands on his show while we take the acoustic singers or maybe two at a time or something. Yes, yes. And he's going to give us the um, acoustic and the dual singers and we'll give him the, ba uh, the bands. In return for it, when we go places now, if we see a band, we'll take that band and get and right away it recommend call. it over to call. Yes, yes. So it's really you're, you're getting two chances if, if we see you, if Carl should see you, you're getting two chances at getting on one or the other show, depending on whether you're a, a big band or just, you know, two, three piece. That, that's great. That works for us because we do the smaller right. acts. He does the bigger acts. So just because you're a big act or you have a big band doesn't mean that we can't find a spot for you. Right. You know, okay. He does a great show also. Yes, he does. That one's called Keeping Country Strong, and it's actually on before our show um, in the Hudson Valley. Yes. Um, I don't know about Manhattan and Brooklyn. I don't know if you even know. They have. He has separate spots. Separate, separate spots more. than us. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have to really look mm -hmm. for that. But he's ahead of us in Pennsylvania. We got five nights a week in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. So he's on at nine, we're on at ten. So we. All right. So you guys can catch up on all our old shows and and then the new the new shows with me and you know the the old shows with all the other co-hosts, which is great. Right. And see what you think. Um, we don't have a lot of time tonight because we do want to get our two guests in. Right. And uh, Phil's got a song he's going to sing tonight. Yes. One red rose. Yes. And it was written by Carl Richards. Yes, it was. And, well, it was performed many times by Phil. Right. And it's generally, there's, there's usually some sort of a birthday or a anniversary of someone's death or something like that. Right. It's meant for that. Uh, it was originally written to honor Elvis. Yes. Right? Yes, it was. Okay, I think that's great. And we have taken it. He has taken it. I haven't tried it yet. You used it one night. I think I did it one night for my dad, yes. Yeah, one night. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, Phil's going to do that for you tonight, and I'll let him fill you in on Okay, because what tonight the, uh, um, occasion. I'm going to do it because um, April 1st is the anniversary of uh, my father-in-law, Stanley Phillips. That's Sandy's father's. Passing. Okay, I and think that's a, you know that uh, makes sense. This year will be 21 years. Wow, that's a long time. Right. Okay, well, uh, why don't we get Phil queued up and let him sing this beautiful song for us? Okay. One red rose, one sweet rose for your birthday. As I stand by your graveside to pray. Though you're gone, I can't go on here without you. Now I'm leaving 
one red rose for you. And every year on this day, I will tell you, I love you so, I can't let go. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Now I'm leaving one red rose for you. You know, Dad, you've made such a mark on this old world and in our hearts that no one could ever take your place. And though you're gone, your memory carry on we think about you every day and we will always leave one red rose for you one red rose one sweet rose for your birthday as I stand by your graveside to pray. Though you're gone, I can't go on here without you. So I'm leaving one red rose for you. And every year on this day, I will tell you, I love you so, I can't let go, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Now I'm leaving one red rose for you. Now I'm leaving one red rose for you. I love you, Dad. Thank you. I'd like to call our first guest up tonight. Okay. She's going to be our youngest guest that we have so far that's written her own music, and this is her first performance on TV. Yes. All right. So, Marty, can you come on over here? Her name is M Maureen. We call her Marty. Last name is Byrne. She is 14. So, like I said, she's our, our youngest so far. But so how do you feel about being the youngest one that we've had on? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a, you know, a surprise, you know. Yeah, I'm surprised you've never had someone 14 before. Yeah. 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 Well, I, yeah, I guess. I mean, we have, you know, we have people from older shows that did, like when we did the karaoke, that were younger. Yeah. But not that have actually done their own music. It's pretty cool. Except <laughs> for uh, before your time, this one, uh, Kayla. And uh, you uh, you met her at the open mic. She's the Filipino girl. She's with her father and yes, wonderful I, I family. That you know that mm -hmm. she is fabulous. She started on our show, and she is touring the country and she's touring the Filipinos, mm -hmm. and uh, she's out there getting paid for her work now. She's one of our <laughs> youngest guests that she's out there recording and going all over the place, you know, but mm -hmm. they haven't forgotten us. So what kind of aspirations do you have as a singer, songwriter, student, <laughs> <laughs> teenager? Well, <laughs> I would, like, hope one day to play, sh like, my own shows and stuff, but I don't want to get myself too excited. So <laughs> most of the time I try not to think about stuff like that. Okay, but you know, if you don't want it, you're writing songs and and stuff, that's you know, that's a step ahead. 
Yeah. I can't write songs. <laughs> you know, I have to Neither sing other I. people's songs. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't well. either. Carl writes his songs for him, you know. Right. Um, now, how long have you been actually um, playing the guitar and actually s writing your music? Um, well, for writing my own music, I was always horrible at writing songs <laughs> until in eighth grade, my chorus teacher last year, she told me that there was a project where we needed to write our own song and sing it, and if you, like, like we competed, and if you won, you got to sing at the local radio. Wow. So mine run, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and that's when I started, like, actually writing more. And as for playing the guitar, I actually only started, like, a month and a half ago. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. So we definitely have a brand newbie <laughs> here. But we do have someone here tonight when, you, when we're going to have you play. And he's been doing this for a while. He's gone pretty far, and we'll let him kind of explain to you where he's been and what he's done. And in this way, it gives you the opportunity to ask some questions or for us to maybe lead some questions and, and give you some ideas, you know? Um, I know w you were at the open mic with Gene Falcarelli, which we all know. Hello, Gene. We're very fond Hello. of you, and yes. you know that. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and you see Marty here today, and we're just so happy to have her. Um, you have four songs today. Yes. And did you just recently write those? Well, one of them's the song... Um, I wrote for the contest in eighth grade. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, but the rest of them are, like, written over the span of, like, the past seven, six months. Okay. That's that's not bad, really. Okay. And what kind of contest was that? Oh, it was just, like, my class. It wasn't really, like, a did contest. Well, then, since you won, did you, <laughs> get like, get an A at least? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I honestly <laughs> don't remember. <laughs> they still haven't marked you yet? <laughs> now, teacher, listen. <laughs> yeah. She's here. This is this is more than just radio. So you know, uh, you know her, um, Alisa Jones. That no, was my, no, I I didn't grow. We well, see. I grew up down in Westchester. Oh no, she sang on here before. Oh, she sang on here yes. before, Alicia Jones. I might know you if I do. <laughs> excuse me, because I've met so many people. It may have been before my time, and if it has, then hi. <laughs> like to say hi to her. And yeah, uh, she um. She actually took me on a couple of her shows over the summer and let me, like, play with her, which was pretty cool. Oh, that's great. So she was probably pretty excited when you told her you were going to be on our show. I haven't told her. You <laughs> I haven't told her. I don't, I don't her. see her anymore. She's down at the middle school, and I just moved up to the high school. Oh, well, you should try to find her and text her or uh, Facebook. Email or her. <laughs> emails. You know, I mean, there's so many different things, but... Uh, you know, that, that, that's really great. I'm glad that you won the contest. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad that it got you thinking and getting you in a musical direction. Yeah, you know? she really guided me and, like, helped me out there. Uh -huh. That's great. And from what your dad says, you've got sisters and brothers? I have a sister and a brother. My sister is very musical. She's played the guitar for, like, six years now, I want to say. Okay. Does she write music, too? Yeah, she writes a lot of her own songs. Wow, okay. And what about your brother? My brother doesn't, no, he doesn't sing or write music. <laughs> He's not interested, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so many times I find, oh, it's a girl thing. <laughs> it's not really. It's yeah. just, you know, more girls tend to be doing it. But the guys, for some reason, I don't know why, <laughs> but they get pushed ahead of us girls. I don't get it. <laughs> so I know me, for one, I'm, I'm pushing the girls, you know. <laughs> support that. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I sure that. you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, would you be willing to play your songs for us and come on back to the couch and yes. and uh, <laughs> talk with us after you're done? Yeah, sure. Let me go get. Thank you. Go okay. get set up. Okay, this ought to be good. All right, this is Marty Byrne, everybody. Okay, switch to... Some can handle 
Without my burn, without my light, most things will die. Darkness inside, I will do because we fight.
talking from the weight of what he said and he moves out. to the couch. Isn't that wonderful? Come on over okay. here, Ron. Come on back. And nice I'd like job. to introduce you to Mr. Greg Woods, I believe that you've met at the front. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what open mic right. that you've uh, been to. Hopefully we'll get you to some more. Um, and I, I don't know, do you have any questions for Greg? Greg has been, Greg, tell us some of the exploits, <laughs> some um, of your uh, yeah, things I mean that you've been doing. Yeah, it's on. It's just, it might okay. sound a little low to you. Yeah, uh, you know, I've been playing at the, the, the Chance in Poughkeepsie and uh, different venues. I've been out to California a bunch of times and, you know, just try to get into anything I can, you and know. And how many years? Uh, many. <laughs> what age did I you mean, start? Oh, I started when I was in, in junior high, but, uh, I mean, more recently I've been uh, pretty fluent with, uh, you know, just getting out there and, and uh, recording and, you know, uh, getting the contacts and everything that, that – uh, Okay. Now, how do you make your contacts? I mean, just networking, really. Kind of things, um, yeah. Uh, should she be doing? Well, yeah. I mean, you're already doing it. I mean, besides the, uh, um, open mics. Yeah, I mean that's huge. I mean, uh, open mics is a great networking experience. I mean, you meet so many, uh, so many different performers and people that are there supporting the music and and 
Mm -hmm. I've met people at open mics that have led to other things that I've gotten into. So just, you know, just hacking away at that alone is a start and, uh, Mm -hmm. and play wherever you can, you know, I mean, anything that, that you have going on, I mean, uh, you know, I know Gene Folcarelli we talk about, he, he's always got something happening and he likes to yeah. look out for you younger people and, uh, Definitely. you know, so, um, yeah, anything, a- anytime you play in front of people, whether it's an open mic or a, a small venue or, or a large venue, I mean, it just, you get more and more comfortable with it. I know, and, you know. one thing that, you know, Ken and I used, would do would, uh, we would sit on our front porch in the summer <laughs> and our porch faces, I mean, street. So we'd get out there and people stop and, and you know b- yeah. no people well it, they they can't <laughs> because it's like forty five miles an hour right but they saw us out there and they saw us <laughs> playing the, the neighbors probably heard us playing you know yeah but it was just a way to be outside and have right. people see just for you to see actually that you're outside yeah. right and people aren't booing you they're not yeah, Marty you sound up. really great you really thank do. you what are some of your musical influences who influences oh. you it, wh- who do you listen well, to I, do you know George Ezra yeah, I've known I know. Yeah. yeah, he sings Budapest. You probably know him. Um, I love him. I love a lot of Beatles. <laughs> Beatles, it's great. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like I listen, I listen to a lot of like, I don't know how to describe it. Like bluegrassy. Like okay. all my friends call it dad music. Like Mumford and Sons. Oh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any influences? Always embrace the influences because it really. Um, you know, really seasons you as a musician, and you know, you obviously become your own musician, your own writer. But you know, you uh, you know, always stick to your influences and and draw inspiration from that, and that's always helped me a great deal. So. Yeah, I, I find it helps too. Like when I'm performing, I like to try to mix it up. I, I do a lot of karaoke's. I like to mix it up and and keep mm-hmm. my vocals loose and try to do a little bit of every type of music. Right. Because you never know when one is going to strike you. All of a sudden, you think, "Hey, I got a song for that." <laughs> <laughs> I like taking like old like pop songs and like okay. trying to make right. them like acoustic, like okay. um, Scrubs by TLC or like yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. um, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Oh, that's, yeah. that's yeah. a classic. That's, yeah, that's oh. great. One, that. one advice that I always give, and I'll always start off by doing a slow song to warm up your vocals. I'm not going to jump right into something. Mm. upbeat and that seems to help quite a bit oh yeah that, well that works for, you. for me um opening my mouth and just belting it <laughs> everybody's got but their own way right, yeah exactly. i mean i'm i'm opening for jack russell in may and and he's actually uh he's given me a lot of advice on on singing and i've been with him when he warms up before his shows and, and what kind of stuff does he do um he warms up to just some he's got notes playing on a track and he uh he just kind of goes through some warm-up exercises and he does it after the show too so there's like That's warm down cool exercises because yeah. you know your voice is like a muscle you know it's just like working out you That's know right. Being a singer is like being an athlete. Athletes work out before their right. performance, and and, yeah. and then they warm down afterwards. So, mm-hmm. you know, you get to a point where you're going to do a big show. You know, you want to have your voice up to a par, yeah, and then be in top take care of it. You know, yeah. Yeah. So, even if you don't like to work out, this is easy to work out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I work out all the time. Oh, yeah. We're running, okay. oh. warm ups, and cool downs. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, That's what good. What other kind of stuff do you like to do besides music then? Well, I run a lot. You <laughs> run a good. lot. Um, Sing while you're running. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd pass that, out. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, it, it would teach you some breathing techniques. It would definitely help your breathing yeah. techniques. Yeah, right. Um, I also jump on my track team, like triple and long jump. Wow. Not a lot of people know what triple jump is, but it's really confusing, so I'm just going to oh, not spare you like the like details. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. God. I also I volunteer and coach for, like, do you know what Odyssey of the Mind is? Yes, uh, yes, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah I coach. It's just, um, it's like where you get seven kids together mm-hmm. and um, they make a team and you have to um, build like a play, like the script and act it and build oh, a set cool. um, like for uh, strict guidelines and try and make it as creative as you possibly can. That's okay. cool. Okay, well that, that's great. And you know what? That's all going to help if, if you want to look into a music career or even if you just want to do it because you want to keep it local. It's just all stuff that you can build on, yeah. you right. know. Every little 
piece that you oh, can yeah. do. It's, yeah. it's and really these days, gonna... it's a little bit easier with social media and everything right. now. Yes, I mean, yes. I mean, I remember the days you put up a flyer on a telephone uh, pole and right. that's what and you hope did, somebody you know, shows up. You know, but yeah, right. uh, yeah. now you can just everything's online, and you you can you write a song and you could have it out there by you know in a couple of hours and to right. the world. You know, yes. so yeah. you know it, it, the the dreams have changed a little bit as far as how to promote yourself and. Mm -hmm. You know, so definitely stay on that and, you know, get, like, Hell website yeah. going and, you yeah. know. Do you, do you have a uh, Facebook site? Nope. Or? <laughs> okay. I have an Instagram and Twitter. Okay. Okay. I well, honestly a, couldn't yeah. even tell you what my Twitter is. I barely go on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, fair, I'm bad like that, too. I, I don't get on the computer as often as I should, but, you know, that's something I have to work on, um, you know. But uh, you gotta. It's good to get off your phone. Start getting your friends <laughs> together. You know, um, Dad was saying mm -hmm. something about you don't like to tell your friends you sing, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, I not a lot of them let, know. <laughs> I always let yeah. my friends know Be I proud could of it. sing. Oh yeah. oh yeah. In fact, you have a page. Mary Frost sings yes. with a microphone in your hand. <laughs> yes, I do. From the, from the first band, my husband and I, we, we've been together since high school. And the, the very first band we have, uh, the page is of me standing there very young. I think I was probably 17 with my microphone in my hand and in our first band. It, it was a lot of fun. Cool. We never really went anywhere <laughs> with it. But the, the idea that we had ourselves practice every single yeah. week. It was it was just something you know everything is something to build on. To oh, embrace every performance, no matter what it is. Absolutely. You know whether you're playing for a you know, three hundred people or, or or you know four people and a dog. I mean right. you just you treat it the yeah. same way. You know yeah. I mean always right. make the most of every performance and and you build have, on it like you, you said. Have a cat or dog you can. <laughs> play for no i remember on <laughs> apple fest do you guys know what apple fest is apple fest. in warwick yes yeah, okay. yes i know what yeah. that is it's just a big festival my town has once a year i would just sit out on well last year i sat out on main street and just sat on the side of the building playing guitar and i threw the case open cool oh, there you go. tried to get more comfortable That's in front perfect. of people <laughs> they start yeah. gene Faccarelli used to uh run things in the summertime in warwick um i know on monday night he used to have different performers performing yeah, we have um, a railroad green where, like, over the summer they have people, oh, yeah. like, bands play all the time. It's yeah. nice to come and just, because I live right. in the village, I could just, like, walk over and listen. Yeah. All right. Well, that, well, that sounds really good. I mean, it, it sounds like you have a lot of different outlets. <laughs> and, I I mean, we think you're really good. Yeah. We think that <laughs> you've you. got, you yeah, got you talent. Yeah, you sing with a lot of passion, and it's yeah, you know, really you know? good. Right. So, you yeah. did. And you write about things that, that you feel. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And that's always the stuff that touches people. Oh, yeah. And makes them want to sing your songs. <laughs> I struggle writing fast songs. <laughs> well, it's okay. No. You know, you, you, not everybody's a fast songwriter. <laughs> as long you as know. you have something to say, you know. I mean, lyrics are, are, you know, whatever you can say, you can sing. You know, lyrics right. are people right. talking, you know. So just. Well, I mean, you know. the thing that comes to mind with me is it's with slow songs, fast songs, you know, when, um, when, uh, I can't ever think of his name now. Oh, my gosh. Well, when Layla came out, it was slow and fast. It did a slow version of it and a right. fast version of it. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Um, my husband's going to kill me. Layla? <laughs> who, who did Layla? Um, was it uh, was, um, Clapton? Yeah, yeah Eric, Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, I'm so sorry, yeah. Eric. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I the, the, the names, you know, they just sometimes... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting old. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he 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 wrote a, a slow song. It became a fast song, or he maybe wrote it as a fast song, and it became a slow song. Mm -hmm. So things can morph. You know, they can oh, sure. turn into something else. You so know, I just wish that these shows um, that they have, like the the Voice, that's about the only one technically a singing show left. Yeah. I really wish that they concentrate more on songwriters with original music. They seem to, in my opinion, go more toward uh, cover music because I was going to audition for it. Right. And um, when they sent me the forms and the contracts and all that, they said, we prefer cover music. You have a better chance. You know, we really don't want original music. In fact... Well, you know, a lot of that, too, is that people want to hear what's familiar to them. What do they know? And then they can judge from there. If you're doing something original, they don't know if you're right. good, bad, or otherwise. 
people. It's hard to judge. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's your own thing. Yeah. But if you're doing cover music, they really, they have something to compare to. So yeah. for those kinds of shows, I, I can understand. For our show, for our purposes, I mean, you know, we're trying to get these artists out and we're trying to, you know, get your original music out. Mm. And we want people to go, hey, I like that sound. Yeah. You know? And uh, yeah, we want them to, to look you up and, and look for more videos and video yourself in your room, even <laughs> if you're just by yourself. It's great. Just, just go right ahead and do it. Um, I think that tonight we have some time, and we've got about 10 minutes. Do you have a couple of songs maybe you can if you want, yeah. give us tonight? Sure, why not? All right. Close you it like out for you. Sure. Right. How'd you like to see Greg do some songs? Love to. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go, everyone. Mr. Greg Woods. Okay. Going to just take him a second. He's got to get his stuff together. Right. And uh, we've had Greg on a couple of weeks ago. Yes, we did. And we're going to be having him on again as almost as, as a regular, as much as we can get him. Right. And uh, he's become definitely a, a friend of the 23 family. Right. At definitely. least to us anyway. We have to introduce him to everybody else. Yes, right. And what I've said about anybody who comes from Gene Faccarelli, they, bec they also become a regular being used on yes. special occasions. Yes. Uh, so so. We'll, we'll have some occasions that we may call you back and, you know, as long as you're willing. <laughs> I'd love to come back. Would you? Great. All right. about it's called uh, this album's called bite the bullet this is a song i wrote called live again running around from coast to coast restless soul tonight Got a pocket full of dreams Didn't come true, I can't let go No, we can't go back in time I can't go back in time, I know So tell me, tell me that we live again Cause I want to live again
my songs are my prayers And all of my heartaches will feel well Maybe they could be healed Keep on looking for answers And there's a more like I can't hide Go back in time I go back in time I know So tell me Cause I want you to live again Second chance, another dance To romance, another time to laugh Tell me do we live again somehow It's so yeah. great to have you talk to Marty Wonderful so job. she can get some pointers from a pro. Absolutely. You know, well, us too. She can I give mean, me pointers you know. from what I saw. She's amazing. She's so. very good. And I and ho Marty, we hope to have you back again. Definitely. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in yeah, to sure. see our show tonight. And please don't forget, on April 8th, uh, that's our telethon from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And it's going to be viewed locally. 
And then after that, we're going to put it on YouTube. So, you know, tell your friends all about it. All our shows are on YouTube. They can go on there, YouTube channel, under the Mr. Phil Show, and they can pull up whatever they want. All right? And from there, we'd like to just say good night. And yeah, good night, everybody. We'll see you next week, and you can take the show out. Take the show Thank out. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, please, even if it's yeah. just an instrumental. Oh, whatever you want to do. All right. Fill the clip.